Comedy Company invites you to enjoy Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You see, friends, the Wrigley people feel the same as you do about Life with Luigi, that it's a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So they're glad to be able to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. So now, let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, <laughs> tomorrow is going to be one of the most important days of my life. I'm going to downtown and take a test for my first citizen of papers. Already I'm going to start to look more American. Yesterday a cop is a yellow to me. Wait for the light, Mac. <laughs> a truck driver is a holler. What are you, blind the bud? <laughs> Valley conductor is a say, step to the rear of the car, Joe. <laughs> Mac, bud, Joe. See, already I'm a start to look at no more like a Luigi. <laughs> It's harder to explain to Mamma Mia how I'm a feeling. Proud and nervous. All week long, I'm a studying my citizenship questions are very hard. I'm on all about the presidents, the Congress, the states, the rivers, the square miles and the bridges. Mamma Mia, I'm not so much I'm a got a headache. <laughs> For example... I'm a found out the president has got a 12 secretaries, the state, the treasury, interior, agriculture, labor, and the more. But I'm also find out what a terrible shortage of houses that they got in Washington. The president is to keep all of these the 12 secretaries in a one cabinet. <laughs> anyway, Mamma Mia, here's a time now I should have got to my night of school class. I'm going to write to you some more later. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. All right, class, quiet, please. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Present. Mr. Howard? Present. Mr. Olson? Present. Mr. Schultz? Absent. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, you're present. Why do you say absent? I just wanted to break the monotony. <laughs> oh, thank you, fellow boobers. Oh, I'm so lovable. <laughs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Now, class, today we will dispense with our regular lesson, and instead we'll all help Mr. Basco, because tomorrow he's going down for his first citizenship paper. That's right. Oh, that's that's wonderful. Right. Oh, that wonderful. Congratulations, Luigi. It'll be a pleasure to help you. Uh, young Benjamin, Luigi, you, you're going to make a yim dandy citizen. You get your first papers, and soon you can vote. <laughs> yeah, and when you get your second papers, you can vote twice. <laughs> Correction, Mr. Schultz, you can vote only once. That's civics. Correction, Miss Bowley, you can vote twice. That's politics. Smile, <laughs> <laughs> everybody. All right, Mr. Schultz. Now, class, let's begin the question. Mr. Basco, here's one I'm sure the judge will ask you. How many houses does Congress have? Two. Senate, uh, Senate and... Uh, and uh... Don't you remember, Mr. Basco? I do, Miss Spalding, but when I'm get the nervous, something has happened, and my mind is a stop of talking it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Basco, hundreds of my students have passed their first citizenship test, and I assure you, if you just keep calm, you'll have no trouble at all. I right, thank you, Miss Spalding. I'm going to try to keep calm. Good. Now, how long is the president's term of office? Four years. How many senators does each state have? Two. Who presides over the Senate? The Vice President. And what's his name? Mr. Vice President. <laughs> no, come, come. The Vice President's name. Don't get nervous. Bark. Bark. 
If I'm a bark, I'm a no get the nervous. <laughs> Oh, come now, Mr. Basco. It's such a simple question. Uh, class, who will tell Mr. Basco the name of the vice president? Any volunteers? <laughs> no volunteers? It looks like somebody has got to be drafted. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Spaulding, as long as no one seems to be able to supply you with the correct answer to such a simple question, I will be overjoyed to give it to you. There he goes, the quiz kid with wrinkles. <laughs> Never mind him, Mr. Olson. Mr. Basco, you listen now while Mr. Olson tells us the name of the vice president. All right. His name is Elvin W. Barkley. Perfect, Mr. Olson. I can always depend on you for the right answer. Yeah, well, I always study hard, Miss Spaulding. To me, the brain is like a telephone exchange. I, I store it full of facts. And when I want to reach one fact, I begin to think. The little wires in my head send a message to my brain. A little bell rings. Ooh, am I praying he gets the wrong number? Miss <laughs> <laughs> Spalding. Yes, Mr. Basco. I'm I'm starting to feel a little worried. You think I'm on enough to pass to this test tomorrow? Now, now, Mr. Basco, you're getting a case of jitters, and that's no good. Luigi, I got an idea. We'll all go with you tomorrow to the courthouse, and after the last minute, we'll give you encouragement. Oh, that's a wonderful idea. Well, thanks. Thank you, class. So now I'm feeling much better. Besides, my company, Mr. Pasquale, you all are going to come down with no, me. Right. Sure, Luigi. And smile. <laughs> Don't be a pessimist. Be an octopus. <laughs> You're in great shape. Look at what happened to my cousin Wolfgang when he went down for his first paper. What's the happen to Schultz? Well, he studied the names of the presidents. He studied the laws of the country. He studied everything you could think of. Still, he didn't pass. Why not to Schultz? He was so busy studying, he forgot to learn English. <laughs> My friend. <laughs> hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pasquale. Well, well, so tomorrow's a big day for you. Ah, little banana nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pasquale, it's a big day. Ah, Luigi, it seems like only yesterday I'm abroad of you here. Planted you in America. Every day sprinkling you with love and a kindness. Letting you stand in the sun. And then you grow up, and now, there you are, standing in a full bloom. My own little cabbage puss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Pasquale, you're making me blush. Thank you. Oh, Luigi, you don't have to thank me. Your depreciation's enough for me. <laughs> hey, uh, you know what else I'm going to do for you tomorrow, Luigi? Huh? In your honor... I'm a taking my car out of the garage for the first time in the three years. <laughs> Pasquale, you are it? Just for you. Boy, you're going to make a big impression of riding down that courthouse in my 1926 Pierce Arrow. <laughs> I'm going to fold down to the top, and you're going to sit on the back, waving to the whole neighborhood like a General Eisenhower. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, that sounds wonderful. Eh. Uh, by the way, Luigi, <laughs> on the side of my car, as it so happens, there's a little writing on it. Uh, you know what it's say? What? <laughs> Just married. <laughs> you know why? Pasquale, your car is it just to get married? <laughs> Luigi, stop with the jokes. Tomorrow, after you get your first papers, while you're still standing around in front of the judge, I'm a one that he should have joined you with a certain party. Initial begins with an R. Can you guess who? A Republican party. <laughs> no, it's a bigger than that. A Democratic party. <laughs> oh, stop. I'm talking about my daughter, Rosa. Now, Luigi, I'm laying my cards on the table, and I'm not to play in Kanatsa. <laughs> Brought to you to America was not for the purpose of increasing the population, it was for the purpose of finding a husband for my daughter Rosa. 
All right, Pasquale, I'll help you look. Luigi, don't bother. You don't have to bother. I found him. It's you. <laughs> Nothing to do, and I'm never marry Rosa. She's too fat for me. <laughs> fat, fat, fat. Roses are no fat. She's just a little uh, pudgy. <laughs> Is it too much a pudge? <laughs> All right, you stupid boob. I'm washing my hands off of your face. Tomorrow you go by yourself. You get in front of the judge, are you gonna. Uh, judge? Ooh. What's the matter, Pasquale? Luigi, you right. We forget about a Rosa. We wipe it just to marry the side off of the car. I'm gonna get down with you anyway. Being a citizen is more important than you and I should have squab. That's right, Pasquale. No squab. Monsieur. Now go, Luigi. Go. Study up your questions, because I'm a one you should have passed. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, Pasquale. And thanks for everything. <laughs> thanks for everything, huh? He's a thinker. Once he's a get his first papers, I'm a no more guard here, and he's a never have to marry Rosa, eh? Well, I'm a gonna throw a monkey in his wrench. <laughs> I think I'm a gonna write a little letter to that judge. What's his name? Oh, yes, Judge Mitchell. Dear Judge, Your Highness, uh, my name is Luigi Bosco, and are you gonna examine me for first citizen of papers of today? Please ask me easy questions for which I'm enclosed at twenty-five dollars. <laughs> I'm sending it in a single dollar bill so you can spend it in the different places. People shouldn't think you suddenly got a rich. <laughs> Sign Luigi Bosco, twenty-one and North Halstead Street. <laughs> now I gotta mail it. Of course, when the Luigi's come around, I'm a stop at the whole thing. I'm not a mean man. But when somebody is across to me with my daughter Rosa, that's a bring of the jackal out of my hide. And now, the makers of Wrigley Spearmint Gum invite you to turn to page two of Luigi's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, is a finally come of the day when I'm to go to court for my first citizen of papers. I'm so nervous this morning already, I'm ashamed of myself for three times. <laughs> then I'm a found out there was no blade and a razor. <laughs> anyway, I'm in my antique shop right now, and all of my friends are from a night school a day here, ready to go with me. Luigi, the important thing is you shouldn't get night. You know, whatever happens, don't get yumpy or yet. Oh, stop, everybody. Let's not remind him, or he'll really get nervous. Ah, <laughs> my Luigi. <laughs> Remember what they say from the finance company. Always be calm and collected. <laughs> How many amendments are there in the Constitution? Twenty-one. How many states are there in the Union? Forty-eight. How many stripes are there on the flag? Thirteen. Schultz, Schultz, am I right? Don't ask me. I'm a citizen. I don't have to know. <laughs> well, come on, everybody. I got my cap on and my goggles and my driving coat and my pierce arrow is waiting outside. <laughs> Jim, are we going in that rolling fire trap? Listen to Mr. Delicatessen. No, please, man. please, no fight. Yeah, smile. Let's go, come on. Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. All right. Yeah. everybody's in. Yeah. Go. I'm going to start the car now. Just left Arrow. 
Everything's funny, huh? Yes, yeah, sure, so you're making me feel good. That's a fine. Hey, Luigi, come on and sit up on the back of the canebo. Yeah, hi, 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 hi. Hi. Hey, Officer Flanagan, and look, what are you doing? Leading up my first the citizen to pay pay back. Stop off with the party. All right, Officer Flanagan. Hey, Luigi, what you got there? For the judge, I'm getting to my first to you. Come into the shop for the... <laughs> Well, why the judges examine everybody else before me? Why he's a living a me to the last? Well, it's uh, just the formalities. Nothing to worry about, huh, Mrs. Spaulding? Yes, that's right. Now, Mr. Basco, don't get nervous. How do you feel? I'm a feel fine. Luigi Basco. Present. <laughs> okay, step into the courtroom and walk up to the judge. May we go in with him? If you want to. Judge Yuan, it's a great pleasure for me today. I'm bringing you this flower. Yeah. I also received that letter you sent me. A letter? Send me for the bench. But, Judge, I'm going to understand. You'll it. understand soon enough. I'm going to ask you some easy questions. Uh, Judge, please, why are you so excited? Explain the Atlantic Pact. Atlantic Pact. Pact, that's, uh, that's a bit Answer of... the question. Who's the head of the Supreme Court? Let me think, Judge. How many senators are elected from each state? Senator is... Luigi, you knew that answer a half hour ago. Don't let the judge get you for sure. Right. There'll be no interference or I'll clear the court. Now, Mr. Vasco... There are 21 amendments to the Constitution. Name the first three. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> There's no use going on with this part. Besides knowing nothing about your government, Mr. Basco, I don't think you'll ever make a good citizen. Oh, please, the judge, you don't say that. Since I'm coming here, I'm going to try to be a good citizen. I'm going to do everything to obey the laws. Sign in the street, as I say, speed a limit of 25 miles an hour. Believe me, Judge, I'm going to never walk more than 25 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> First the day I'm arriving in America, man on my radio, as I say, stay tuned to this station. <laughs> Judge, I've been here 13 months, and that's the only station I'm ever in. <laughs> in the park. In the park, a mile away from my store, there's a little garbage you can to say deposit of trash. <laughs> Judge, you believe me. Every morning at 6 o'clock, I'm going to get up and I walk a one a mile to make my deposit. <laughs> Mr. Vasco, you've never broken a law? No. Oh, yeah. Yes, Judge, I've got a confession to make once I'm a broker the law. Today. Oh, my Yes, today. I'm going to want to make a good impression on you, so I'm going to go in inside to wash my hands and face. I'm going to use a towel and a sign as a say, rub, but don't blot. <laughs> Judge, I'm lost to my head. I'm a blot it. Mr. Pasco, you've made your plea. In view of all the circumstances, application for first citizen papers denied. Mamma mia. Oh, he can't do that. Oh, he knows all the hands. Your Honor, I must speak to you. Who are you, young lady? My name is Mary Spaulding. I'm Mr. Basco's night school teacher. Apparently you didn't teach him enough, Miss Spaulding. Well, Your Honor, I'm sure a terrible mistake has been made. You see, Mr. Basco is one of my... Pasquale, Pasquale, this is the worst day of my life. What's happened to me? Come out of here in the hallway. I talk to you. Now, the first thing you got to do is to take it easy. Calm down. Relapse. But Pasquale, 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 you don't understand. I'm going to go to the papers. Luigi, what would have happened if I was to tell you I could get you those papers? You? Pasquale, it would have made me the happiest man in the world. <laughs> well, Luigi, all I've got to do is whisper certain a few words to the judge and he's letting you take the test again. Pasquale, 
If you were to do this for me. If it's to make you happy, Luigi, sure. You know I'm a guy a heart as big as a baloney. <laughs> and for you, it's always a slice. <laughs> That's right, Pasquale. You're so full of baloney. <laughs> That's a funny thing. When I'm a say it, it's a come out a different. <laughs> now wait, Luigi. I do you a little favor, you're going to do me a little favor. I'm going to do anything, Pasquale. What's this little favor you want them sure to do? Just to marry my daughter, Rosa. But, Pasquale... No buts. So you've got a two choices with a Rosa. Yes or absolutely. <laughs> All right, Pasquale. If you get me the first papers, I'm going to marry your daughter. That's what I like, a real love match. <laughs> All right, I'm going to call in the blush and the bride. Rosa! 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 <laughs> yes, my little Cupid doll. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. got a proposition to make it to you. How would you like he should take you to Niagara Falls? But, Pop, it's too cold to go swimming. <laughs> Shut up your face. Mr. Basco, the judge would like to see you immediately. And the judge, he wants you to see me? What the fuck? Hey, don't worry, Luigi. I'm going to go with you. All right. Step up in front of the bench. All right. Uh, Mr. Basco. Your teacher has just spent ten minutes talking to me about you. I'm coming straight to the point. Did you or did you not send me this bribery note? Bribery note? No, you and I will never see that in my life. That's right, Your Highness. Luigi Basco is not got a $25 to be sending around at the judges. What $25 are you talking about? Well, you know, those are 25 a single dollars. I'm a putting the... Uh, oh! <laughs> Judge, you don't believe me. I'm a terrible liar. <laughs> Officer, take this man to my chambers. I'll talk to him later. <laughs> Mr. Basco. I'm very happy we've straightened this out. Now, just be very calm and tell me. What is Congress made up of? Two houses. Senate and representatives. Two senators from each state. Congressmen according to the population. Very good. Name the three amendments which came as a result of the Civil War. Civil War? Luigi become. <laughs> Three amendments, 13, 14, and 15. 13 is forbid slavery, 14 is make the slaves the citizens, and 15 is to give them a right to vote. Oh, no. No. If there is any further demonstration, hmm. Mr. Basco, what can you tell us about our flag? How to flag He's got a three colors, red, the white, and a blue. He's got a 13 stripes, one for each of the first 13 states. He's got a 48 stars. Red is a stand for courage. White is a stand for truth. Blue is a stand for justice. Now, before you applicants receive your first papers for citizenship, raise your right hand and read the paper which has been handed you. I believe it is my duty to my country to love it, to support its constitution, to obey its laws, 
to respect its flag and to defend it against all enemies. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One, One nation, nation indivisible with the liberty and the justice for all. So, Mamma Mia, my biggest day is to come out to fine. I'm a got to my first citizen of purpose. You should have seen how angry the judges have got to with a Pasquale later on. He's a told him there's no reason in the world why any man should do what the Pasquale has done to me. And he's a give him a 30 days in a jail. <laughs> <laughs> then the judge is a saw Rosa, and he's a parole of Pasquale right to then and a day. <laughs> But my first citizenship of papers in Mamma Mia, you should have seen them. They hanging on a wall between a Washington and a Lincoln. Washington has got a big, broad smile on his face. Lincoln is wearing a beard. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> but I'm sure he's happy too. Mamma Mia, I'm going to hardly wait for a day when I'm going to be a full citizen and I'm going to sign this letter, Luigi Basco, American. You love his son, Luigi Basco, an immigrant. And so Luigi Basco has received his first citizenship papers. This is a signal event in his life. And so tonight, we are honored to have with us in our Washington studios the Deputy Commissioner of Immigration and Naturalization of the Department of Justice, Mr. Alger Mackey. To hear what he has to say to Luigi, we take you now to Washington and Mr. Mackey. Luigi, we of the Immigration and Naturalization Service, Department of Justice, feel that you are especially deserving of this cherished recognition of your efforts to become a good American. You have worked hard to learn of our democratic form of government and, generally speaking, our way of life. You are a credit to your adopted country, as well as a source of delightful entertainment on your radio program to millions composed not only of newcomers like yourself, but also those of us already so fortunate to be citizens of this great country. Buon Capodiano, Buona Notte, and good wishes to all of you on Life with Luigi. The Wrigley Company hopes you enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. They present this program each week because they feel that millions of Americans like to listen to the adventures of Luigi just as millions enjoy chewing Wrigley's spearmint gum. And the Wrigley people invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production that is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Jody Gilbert as Rosa, Mary Ship as Miss Spalding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, Ken Peters as Olsen, and Sarah Berner as Miss Pellegrino. Music directed by Lud Gluskin, Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs> <laughs>